Hello and welcome to Little World Shakers Live. I am so thankful you're here with me today. Man, do I have some good news for you. Literally. Stay tuned for this message. But first, I want to welcome all of you who are new. Welcome to Little World Shakers, this amazing ministry at Congregation Family. If you are new, the way it works is you watch live. You can comment below or on the sidebar and chat with me during the message. Stay till the end and at the end I will put a link to our Zoom after party in the comments section. And you can click that link and follow us right over to our Zoom after party. Now, we're going to get into a phenomenal message today, but I want to thank you for taking the time on this beautiful August Sunday to be here with us today. You guys should feel proud of yourself. You're going to learn something. We're going to become better world shakers together. Okay, you ready? Here we go. We have learned so much about the character of God and who God is. We're going to start this week to dive into this master plan that God had that included someone else that is God-like, but is not God himself. It's going to get good, but I want to teach you the name today that we're going to learn, which is Emmanuel, God with us. Emmanuel means God with us. Emmanuel is spelled I-M-M-A-N-U-E-L. Emmanuel, God with us. We've been learning so much about God and who God is, the different names of God, all the different Jehovah Rapha, Jehovah Roi. We've been learning so many names of God and I hope it's been helping you the way it's been helping me learn what we can count on from God. If we learn the names and the characteristics of God, we know who God is and then we know who he is for us, which is a big deal. Now, starting this week, we're gonna transition into a major plan God had that involved a son of God. We're gonna learn this plan, but first let's learn one of the names of the Son of God, which can also be referred to as God too. This name is Emmanuel. I-M-M-A-N-U-E-L. Emmanuel means God with us. They shall call his name Emmanuel, which means God with us. Matthew 1:23. Okay, it's my favorite part of Sunday, other than our Zoom after party. It's story time. Okay, we're going to talk today about God's major plan. Before we came about, before the world came about, the trees and the oceans, and before God named all of these things and he created all these things, God had a plan. He had this major plan that only he knew about and this plan was going to involve some major parts but I want you to think about what it means to know that God is truly with us now God still has a plan even today and we see it working out every single day but today's story focuses on a plan that he let people know about and some people trusted the plan some people believed it and some not so much but if God had a plan and he promised to see this plan through it was gonna happen you can count on it we can see that from all the past weeks of all the different characters that God promised things and he followed through on his promise so God had this plan. He was going to work his plan. It was going to happen. Some believed, some didn't. What was this plan? It involved a young baby. It involved a woman. And it involved a man. 
The woman's name was Mary. And the man's name was Joseph. But even more importantly, this master plan God had involved the baby that Mary and Joseph would have that God was going to use to save all of his people. Now, that's a big plan. But remember, God follows through on his plans. Whatever he says, he does. So, you had Mary, who was a young woman. She wasn't married yet. She knew who she was getting married to. She was engaged to Joseph. But she didn't really think about kids yet. She was barely getting into marriage. Now, one day, an angel came to Mary, and this angel's name was Gabriel. And Gabriel came and visited Mary, and Mary had never seen an angel. She didn't know what this meant. Why was this angel here? And the angel Gabriel told Mary, calm down, calm down. I'm, I'm not here to harm you, I have good news. And Gabriel told Mary, God has found favor on you. What does it mean to have favor? That meant that Mary had a special purpose for her life, that God had this plan and he knew that Mary was the right person for his master plan. And so he used Mary and he used Gabriel to tell Mary that she was a part of the plan but it threw Mary off because she's like, I'm not even married yet. What are you doing here? And Gabriel told her, no, no, God is very pleased with you. He's happy with you. And he is going to give you a baby. And Mary was confused. She's like, how can I have a baby? I'm not even married yet. But Gabriel reassured her. He said, God's gonna give you a baby by his power. He's going to give you this baby. Mary trusted God. She knew once Gabriel told her that, that if God said this was gonna happen, then it was real, it was really gonna happen. Well, Gabriel then went to Mary's soon-to-be husband, Joseph, and he told Joseph, heads up, God is gonna give you and Mary a baby and he wants you to look after Mary while she carries this baby. You have to protect her and keep her safe. Joseph took it seriously too. He knew that if, an, if God sent an angel, this must be serious. So at that time, Mary and Joseph were living in Nazareth and the emperor of Rome at the time made an announcement, made a law and he said, Every single person needs to be accounted for. We need to count everyone in this land so we know how many people live here. So Joseph knew that in order for them to be counted, they had to go to his hometown of Bethlehem. Have you ever heard of that place before, Bethlehem? Well, Mary and Joseph had to go to Bethlehem in order to be counted. They wanted to listen and do what the emperor asked of them. So they started to travel to Bethlehem. And it was close to the time that Jesus was also going to be born. Oops, I just gave you the baby's name. The baby that Mary was carrying was going to be baby Jesus. And Jesus, God told Mary through the angel Gabriel that Jesus would be
was with them through this. This wasn't a plan they were going to do by themselves. This was his plan that he was going to do through them. So I want you to think about that. And I want you in the times where it looks like this is all new and you may not know what to do or you feel like things are a little different and you didn't see this different life coming. Think of Mary and think of how she had to adapt to that sudden change in her life. Even when outside, if there's an earthquake or there's a storm, what do you usually do? You usually run to mommy and daddy's room because they make you feel safe. And you know if mommy and daddy are with you, it, it seems like everything's gonna be okay even more than our mommy and dad being with us. I want you to know that God is with you. Jesus is with you. God had this plan. He saw the plan through. So far, we're at the first part of the plan where Jesus was born, but that was such a big part of God's plan. Remember this as we go through this 2020, this year that we all have experienced so much change. I want you to know and remember, God is with each and every one of you. He's with you in your home. He's with you in your life. He's with you in the plans for your future. He is with us. Okay, I hope you enjoyed this message. Follow me into this Zoom party and remember, keep shaking up the world one step at a time. Thank you for joining me today. I'll see you in our Zoom after party. Hello, it's Tim Story. I hope you enjoyed the service. If so, subscribe. If not, still subscribe. It's good.